Well, hello there, it's Just Will here, and we're getting back into Hydroneer. Now, it's been a couple of weeks actually since I last played this due to, oh, I don't know, apocalyptic heat wave in the UK, to say the least. So, I've been trying to keep things a little bit cool here and try and avoid too much of the sweltering heat because, as probably a lot of people don't realise in the US, we don't really do air conditioners over here, so it was a little bit much, um, to say the least. So, anyway, let's continue on. And load. Now, I vaguely remember that we got as far as this. We got some conveyor belts started. And that machine broke at the end of the last episode. Other than that, I'm trying to remember exactly where we got to. I think I'm now at the point where I might start doing the cauldrons. And start melting or smelting things down. Maybe start doing some jewellery. Looks like I've got the gems already coming off here, so that's good. So, okay. Well, what I'll do, I'll grab the this thing now, E to pick up into it, and then click. There we go. Right, that's that going again. I have used all those tools now, so I do need to buy some more. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, there's, there's stuff everywhere. What a mess I've made. Okay, well, well, we won't worry about that. We'll just gloss that over. Or we'll leave this chugging away for a little while. Well, we're back from our little shopping trip. So, I picked up a crucible, oh not a crucible, a small furnace. Put so that down there. That's the crucible. So, that can go on like that. I mean, it's not really necessary for it actually to be heating up, so I'll just bonk it there for the time being. Uh, I picked up an anvil. And get it in the ground. Come on. No, not. Why is it? Really? Why is it doing that? I don't want it in my face. A hammer to sit here and just donk things with. I also picked up a little filter. So I'm hoping this will just stop the machine from breaking down as quickly. So that I can sit there. So now, let's see. We got the gold and we got the iron filtered out. Oh, wait a minute. Um, oh, balls. I ain't got the um, ingot mold. Okay, um, I ooh. Uh, now the cash. I did go around and collect it all and took it over to the conveyor nation area, or not next, not the conveyor nation, but next door to it, where you brought these bits from, uh, these things you buy. So there isn't much left. Interesting. But power shard's gone. Now I've just put another one in here. So these must wear out. Ah. I thought to myself, why would you need to keep getting more and more of these? Interesting. So they must have a lifespan on those and they just slowly wear down. Okay, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. So that'll be the next job to do then. Right, I'm going to go and sell my gold up to the jeweller. Go get an ingot mould. And then start making some swords, I guess. Or maybe a hatchet even. We'll see how we go. Well, I've sorted out selling off the gold and got a decent amount of cash for it. Not great, but it'll do. I thought I'd grab a saw and a well, the actual ingot mold makes it useful or make it useful once. I just saw this the construction hammer. Left click to lock down items. Right click to unlock them. No more picking them up by accident. Now, I don't think I got one of these. I don't remember, so I'm just going to grab one. Because that sounds very helpful. So I'm not accidentally just picking things up as I keep doing over and over again. Uh, I might just also grab a fishing rod because I'm thinking about maybe I'm going to play with this while we're letting the machines run. So I must have a go and see if we can do some fishing. I don't think there's anything else here I care about. Mm, yeah, that'll do. Cool. Alright, I'm going to buy these and then take them over. I don't know why I brought the tractor over here, to be honest, it literally is walking distance, but anyway. And, yeah, we'll get all set up and start smelting or making some swords. Well, let's start having a look through. So, that's the spare pan that can go up here again. 
That way I don't lose track of it. Because I don't see any hammers around here. The construction one, so I guess I didn't have one. So left click to lock them down, right click to unlock. Okay, I'll lock these all down. All down. I don't want to be picking this up by accident. There we go. And same with these. Voila. Same with that, same with that. Same with that. And that. Okay, we've got everything now locked in place. No more coming along and me clicking on stuff and picking up. I can still pipe by looks things, but that's fine. Because I don't actually click on that. Now, can I get this in here one shot? <gasps> Look at that skill. Huh? No spillage. Pop that back on. Pick that up. Uh, okay, well. Oh! Well, I was going to go pause recording, but that's fine. Straight in. So, plug that into there. Pop that down there. Uh, and up like that. Grab that. Hit it. Hmm. I think I have to heat it because it says um not fire symbol. And that makes sense, you don't hit cold metal to make it into uh when you're smithing. So I've got to reheat it. Put that to hand because I suspect this is gonna be something I've got to do really, really quick. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Quick, 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 quick. Hit it, hit it. Why is it not working? Wait, is that grade one? No. Why is this not working? No. Uh, put it back in there again, smelt it. Um. One, two, three. I mean, how, how do you grade it? Is it in between these two markings? So that's a one, so it'd be a two and a three, or is that three? It's not very clear how this is marked out in, in this game. Let's go straight to three, see if it is a three. Doesn't seem to do it. Oh, there we go. There was a one. Da 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 da! Look at that sword. So, I guess I'll take it up to the shop now and see. Oh, yeah, definitely take it to the shop now because things are breaking again. I swear they're breaking quicker than they were last time. Okay. Let's go and take my flute and sword up to the shop or up to the jeweler and see what we get for it. Well, I think I need to get my handbrake checked. It seems to be slowly rolling down the hill. So, how much money do we get for it? <gasps> Ooh, actually, that's not too bad for just a little bit of metal or a bit of iron. Nice. Okay. Well, we need to get some tools and things like that, so pop that in there, grab that. Well, I say tools and repair spanners and things like that, which. Oops, come on. Get over the bridge. I, really, I don't know why I'm driving around with this thing. I just seem to be kid driving around with it today. Whereas I was quite happy using the um, trail last time. Obviously feeling a bit lazy with it. Alright, grab you. Pop you into here. And I want a couple of these. Actually no, one would be fine. That'll do. Grab that. Again, why am I doing this? Why do I keep driving short distances? I am literally turned into the most laziest person ever. Come on. Get reverse. There we go. I think it takes me longer to drive that short distance. Alright. Wiggle my bag at it. Cool. Oh, I'm just going to leave that chugging away again. I guess it could actually... Ooh, do we do the gems? I mean... Hmm. Let's do some jewelry. Not that. Chuck that down. 
Grab that, chuck it there, grab that, chuck that back in its place. Oops. Oh, come on. Seriously. That's better. Oh, just a nigger time. Chuck those into here. Pop that there, grab that, and smelt, smelt, smelt. Now I need to pick a gem. Cut them all together. Pop that on there. Now I've just got to wait for it to make that horrible noise. There we go. The horrible sloshing sound. And let's see. Well, it's not a massive anger. So, pop that on there. Oops. I'm going to heat it again because that's getting too cold. Actually, you come here. Pop that there. Let's pop you here. Right, that's red hot. There, grab that, hit it. Yes! A ring! Right, I'm just going to run up there. Instead of being lazy. Well, let's see. What is this one worth? Oh, it's only 530. That's... Well, I guess I did sell up all my gold, didn't I? So it is a smaller quantity. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go see what we can get. Uh, what? Well, what can I get? What am I on about? All I need to do is grab all my cash together and go to the conveyor nation because I want to get the crucibles that start automatically just smelting and doing the ingots for us. So, let's see how much cash we got. We got this amount. 1,500. I think we got enough. It's a little bit here as well. Ooh, I think we got enough to get at least one. So, okay, that's what I'm not going to do. I'm going to head over there. Go treat myself to a few extra toys. Well, I thought I'd start at the tools and equipment shop, so I've already chucked my money in here. We have a 2,300 coin to work with, so that's actually a fairly decent amount. So, well, say fairly decent. I can only get really one of these. Yep. So, <laughs> well. Okay, well, we've got at least one of these. Huh? That at least does some of the hard work for us. I think we'll just then worry about the gold being manual for the time being. Just wander over here at the conveyor nation. Because there is these. Now, I could get rid of the hand grinder, whatever it is. So that's one less thing to repair. There's a gem polisher here as well. Hmm. Let's go grab my coin. I think I'm going to do the grinder. I think it's the first thing I'm going to start automating. That's one less machine I have to repair then. So, go straight for the big one. Yep, we have enough. Grab my little bit of coin. 88 is all got left out from that. Ooh, that's painful. But at least with this, that's one less of those slightly dodgy machines that break down. Right, so we're now back. Uh, the first thing I want to do is grab that hammer and start setting these to be removable again. Now that can all be changed over to a straightforward pipe because I'm going to put that down here. So grab you. I think I could take that to the scrapyard and hopefully get a few coins back for the initial investment, shall we say. Because I don't think we're ever going to need anything like this again. This can go here. It says. It puts the right way around. There we go. That can come off. That can come off. But do I have a straight bit of pipe? Uh, nope. I've got a couple of thoughts. One is, do we actually start moving this down the deeper? Because I know the deeper I go, the better the quality is. And then start bringing conveyors up. 
Oh, there goes a the smelter. Or do I just get this going as is, just to get something flowing so we don't run out of resource and potentially run out of cash? My thinking is we just get this going as is, so I'll put a bit of pipe in here, just get this going, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's quickly smelt this again. Chuck it in there, chuck it on there, let's give it a bit of time. Oh, no, too slow. See, that cools so quickly. Warm it up again. Right. Let's grab that bag, pop it up there. Yeah. Let's grab this one, just get rid of that, because we don't need that anymore. Grab a spade. Quickly deposit a bit of dirt on here. There we go. Uh, uh. Don't hurt me. Yeah. Okay, I think this will work fine. I just think it's going to shoot out here, and I'm wondering, is it going to miss? Because it is very high up. Well, I've just gone through and done a bit of tidying, a bit of organising. I've added the pipe in, so that is now ready and operational. I've just popped in the little automatic uh, crucible, which is going to be very handy. So that's just going to work on the iron for the time being, as that's the most simplest one. Pop it in. That can come up for the time being. I don't really need that going. I have also smelted a lot of the power shards, crystal things, together. So now, let's see if this works. You know, I just realised. Oops. And a slight issue, I forgot. Kind of important step, you know. There we go. Again. Oh, that didn't work, did it? No, that's not working, is it? Crap. Okay. Pick you out. Grab you. Put you there. Pop that there. Uh. It's making a mess of the bucket into it. Alright, um, let's turn it on again, see if this is enough. Well, that's not good, is it? Wait, what's it? Am I being dumb here? Looks in the conveyor belt and shreds excess dirt down to smaller. It doesn't... Oh... Poo. It doesn't do what I thought it did. All it does is make those big sword chunks down to smaller chunk size. It doesn't clean it. So I still need the damn sifter thing. Oh... Oh, that's a big balls up my end. And I bet everyone was shouting the screen going, Well, you're being an idiot. That wouldn't be the first time. Ah. Well, okay, I'm going to have to put this all back how it was. Well, we're back to how it was before. Let's just pretend nothing happened. Ah, that's annoying, my tip. I mean, there's not much I can... I guess we can actually... No, there is something we can do. Go fishing. So, there was that fishing village, which I think was... That way? Actually, tell a lie. I could be sensible and look at the map, can I? So let's see, where are we? We're there. So. It's down there, Burnscroft. So. Yeah, that is down that way, isn't it? Okay. Just had to sort of get my bearings again. Well, let's grab a fishing rod and. Yeah. Go do some fishing, I guess. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Demand is up for fish. <laughs> I don't know if that's a particular fish or anything, so we'll have a look see. Uh, fish and stuff this way. So I'm guessing I just fish here. And then unlock the extra fishing rods. So let's see what happens. Okay, so there's a float. Normally when you're fishing, oh, there you go. You click as soon as it bobs. 
Now that looks like the fish that is on the stock market thing. Let's go chuck it on there and see what happens. Eight. I see, so demand has gone down now as I sell them. But yeah, I don't see any way to sell fish here, so I'm guessing it's only through the stock market, so... Okay, well, I'm going to do some fishing then. We'll see how what happens. Well, that's a good start. I've only just literally hooked two things, and I'm already straight onto a prawn. So, I think this goes in here. Push the button. Ooh. And I've unlocked a wonky fishing pole. Yep. It's always a good start, isn't it? So, then what do I need? Ah, oh, that's a weird looking thing, whatever that is. Ain't one of them. So I guess we just keep going and work our way through the tiers. I presume they give you better fish at the end. But how you sell them, I don't know. Because the stock market only demands these types of fish. Maybe the jewel would buy them, but that wouldn't make sense. Hmm. It looks like my luck is not in at the moment, so I'm going to sit here and just fish for a little while and see if we get in the next tier. Oh, look at that. That's just about the time I was bored the recording. It's almost as if it knew. It's almost as if it knew. If this is the right one? Yes, it is. <gasps> We're up to the old slippery grip. <laughs> so, and then crab is the next one. Okay. I mean, in theory, you'd use a cage, maybe, for crabs. Why well, just lobster more than anything? Crabs tend to be on lines. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Well. That's another prawn. See, now what do I do with a prawn? Because it's not at the stock market. There must be somewhere to sell them. <gasps> oh, that's a big fish. Okay, well, I'm going to sit here and do a bit of fishing this time. And I'll see if I can work out how to sell these things. That's a massive fish. <laughs> okay, this might be interesting. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of fishing and try and work out how to sell it. So I brought everything over to the stock market bench. Now, it looks like it takes anything. It's not just these heron or what are these called? Yeah, they are herons. Uh, I guess correctly. So the prawns also counts well because I take it off. Jumps up to 23. So they're quite valuable actually, the prawns. So let's sell that lot off. I don't think there's anything got left behind. Nope. Now... The demand has dropped right down to 29%, so I'm guessing it's just not viable to pump loads into it. So I guess as time goes on, this will rebound back up, but it's just a time thing. So I'll oh, push that button again. Oh no, it's not merging it. Oh, that's not enough to take it through to here. Pop it in here and then just merge them up that way. So yeah, I'm guessing as time goes on, it's still 29, so I don't know how long this takes to go up. So yeah, at that lower price, it's not going to be worth doing anything more, I would have thought, until it comes back up. And I guess as time goes on, the market rebounds, as demand increases and the supply is constrained. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take, so, oh well, well that was a bit of interesting, but at this point in time, it's kind of pointless doing anything else. So let's go back. Well, it looks like one of the machines is um, sparking again. So oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, um, that's the filter. What? Wait, these. Oh, right. Really? More stuff I have to maintain. Start to get to a point where. This is not being very viable. Hmm. Because if that's, um... I mean, that's only one thing to repair, I guess, compared to two machines, but still. Uh, it's concerning, that is. That's concerning. I have to maintain things. Okay, well... This is still chugging along quite nicely. It looks like we've got a little bit here, so... Oh, let me just, um, before we do anything, hit this so I don't actually pick it up. There we go. Because I know I'll do something stupid. 
So grab that, put it in there to melt, uh, warm it up again. And we'll make a quick sword and then I'll just cash out some more cash, I guess. I mean, we're kind of at the stage where we're now just going to keep going through, building up some cash. So what I might do, I'm going to just burn through a bit. Actually, no, no, tell no, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is get another one of these, do the gold, and then maybe work on upgrading the conveyor belt one more step so the shards come off they can be just put into a pan for the time being and then put a gem polisher in and then we're good to go question mark I mean there's not much more to do at this stage so yeah I think that's what we'll do we'll just get this finally upgraded so it's fully complete and then I think it's time to start really upgrading this going deeper underground and try and work out some things because I swear I don't need to have one of these but I guess I do I don't know I just whenever I've seen bits and bobs it seemed like you just go straight into the conveyor belt so yeah okay well I'll have a little play around anyway if anyone has any ideas about this if this is actually required later on because I could have sworn that again going by memory of what I've seen people play on this that's not necessary but if anyone's got any ideas just let me know well, we'll call it there for this episode. We've done a little bit of fishing now, and I can't seem to quite understand how the stock market system works exactly. I'm guessing, as I say, over time it degrades, but I don't know. Maybe I have to sell at the other stock market stands, and that might then bring the other one back up. I really don't know. And if anyone knows, please just put it in the comments, because I really need a bit of a hint on that one, because I have no clue. Um, next episode, we'll be doing a bit more work on the conveyor belts, putting in more of the automatic uh, smelters so they just automatically make the ingots for us and then hopefully work into making it more of a deeper mine so we start getting higher yields of ingots and things like that anyway i'll catch you later bye for now